let's get started and let me show you how easy it is. I, first of all, love to use these little containers from the dollar store. They're very cheap and they have a nice seal to them. What we're going to do today is we actually are going to paint this brick. I'm going to show you how easy it is. We have chosen to use uh, this little two ounce uh, acrylic paint. It's just a craft paint. It's very cheap. Um, you can find it at Walmart or anywhere. And what I'm going to do is because it's two fluid ounces, my powder is one part powder, two part paint. So it's two fluid ounces, so we need to use one ounce of the chalky powder. One ounce is about one eighth of a cup or about two tablespoons. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to get our two tablespoons. All right, we're going to mix that in there. We're going to take enough warm water just to make a nice creamy paste. Uh, now it's better to start off with just a little bit of water and see if you can get your paste. Let me get my fork here. See, it's so easy. You can even use a kitchen fork. Because it's uh, the active ingredients are all natural, uh, you don't have to worry about the toxic fumes or anything like that. Okay, so you can see that it's a nice creamy paste, okay? Now, if you want it a little bit uh, thinner, you can add more water. If you would like it thicker, you can just add a little bit more of the chalky powder. And you see the color it is. It's a very natural, um, natural color, but it will not affect your color of choice. So we're going to take the purple, okay? We are going to pour all of the two ounce in. Okay, now granted you do not have to get uh, the exact measurements. You can go with whatever consistency that you like to, to use. Okay. All right, so we mix that in and I want you to see how beautiful the color. It does not take away at all from the color. It's the exact same color that I started out with. Okay, but now this particular acrylic paint has been transformed to chalk paint. In fact, it is the very best chalk paint you will ever use. Okay, the project we're going to do today is I'm actually painting bricks. That's right, bricks. Uh, this particular bricks came right out of the brickyard, so I'm not cleaning it, I'm not prepping it, uh, nothing whatsoever. I'm literally just going to put and paint my chalk paint directly on to the brick using my chalky powder. Now the beauty about the chalky powder is that it is going to make a nice seal and it is going to adhere and bond to the brick to where if you would use say a latex paint when you're doing uh, redoing your furniture uh, or even if you painted on let's say metal, plastic, uh, or wood, it will not bond properly. You could actually chip it and flake it off. With my chalky powder, it actually bonds so beautifully with the brick. It's just going to absorb right in there. Okay, so remember there's no prep work whatsoever with my brick. I will show you it is, it's even dusty. Now if you were a neat freak and you actually wanted to clean it, Okay, you could clean it, but you can see here that you do not have to. The same with other furniture. You do not have to. You do not have to sand. You do not have to prime. Even if you were painting on veneer um, or a piece of wood furniture that, you know, had the glaze already on it uh, and the finish, you do not have to sand, nothing. No prep work whatsoever. Okay. So I'm going to finish painting this and then we're going to come back and I'll show you exactly how easy it is. But as you can see, this is all that I used with this particular project. And so now all I have to do is put the lid on it and I have my chalk paint powder and it will last for as long as this paint would last. It's so simple. It's so easy. Anyone can do it. As the, uh, the front says, you add it, you mix it, you paint it. That simple.